wearing sports stuff because we do sports. Okay. Um, I chose to dress up like a rugby lad. I'm supporting Saint Sport. So sports and societies edition. Let's go. First question. Is there enough time to do multiple sports or do people usually stick to just one? Yeah, yeah people usually stick to just one because- yeah. um, If you want to get like involved in it proper. Probably if you tried to do different sports, they would like the practice times would, cra would crash. Clash. You can join clubs like sports clubs as a social member, which means you literally just go to like the social events that the club puts on and you don't actually have to like do the sport. Yeah. So maybe. Do sports clubs have initiation? Most of them do. Yeah. Like We're proper not... hazing isn't a culture here, which no. thank God, but you're-, you're There's definitely like initiation. You'll make some memories, definitely. Do you need to already know how to play a sport to join it in uni? Not at all. No. Um, obviously if you want to make it onto like the first, you know, there's the first team, the second team, and there's like the yeah, like, recreational if team. Competitively. If you want to get on the first team, you know, you should probably, like, they won't put you on the first team unless you're like quite good already. But you can start out as a complete beginner. And there's a lot of sports which like you wouldn't have done before. Like what, 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 what even is corfball? Corfball. Corfball. Do people really join sports team they haven't tried before? Yes. Yeah. Like we just said. Is it okay if I flit in and out of some sports if they're hobbies? Um, yeah, I think you, there are some that you can kind of just show up to random practices yeah. if you want. I went to a boxing practice last year. And it was really fun. I did mountaineering, as in like rock climbing for a bit in first semester first year. Mm. I didn't like we stick to it. We went once together. Remember we, we that? Went, I almost yeah. dropped you. Yeah, so we went once together. Um, yeah. But I used to do that and then I kind of stopped, but you can go back and forth. If there's someone in the society that you know or like the president of that society you can like message them and be like hey i'm interested in starting like whatever the sport is um would it be okay if i like dropped into a session and usually yeah. they're so, so they're always gonna say yes like they they're always so want happy to, to have more people involved that's all for sports i'm gonna put on a more comfortable top <laughs> <laughs> okay okay julia changed her t-shirt i did because it was warm but anyway societies societies and clubs we live in one stuff. what societies are quite popular star 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 is actually really popular we have like 110 radio shows per week which is really big mm. um a lot of people get involved so yeah it's really fun other societies um, um i think honestly some of the most popular ones simply because people end up joining them just because of their degree are the ones that are like you know geography society biology mm. society um international relations society yeah like there are a lot of societies that have to do with a specific module or degree so most people end up joining those anyone can join any society you don't have to take geography to join geography society yeah. there are a lot of really niche random ones like doctor who society <laughs> or wine and cheese society art sock is pretty popular art society photography society the ones that are really active tend to be the most popular because they'll put on things that people actually want to yeah. go to like a lot of people are also part of mermaids which is like one of the theater it's a subcommittee on the union yeah it's... then there's things like just so society yeah that's also th that's musical theater there's gns yeah gilbert and sullivan there's uh blind mirth which blind is mirth part is of, uh yeah. like improv the stand-up comedy yeah um acapella is actually really popular hands in aka bitches there's so many societies and and you don't have to be part of a society to go to a lot of their events you can just you know they'll they'll probably just charge you a little extra than what members would and you yeah. know if you if it turns out you like it then you join the join. society what are the best societies star star um That's it. so Yeah. Are there any clicky societies you should avoid? No. no. The thing is... Well, there are some quite um, exclusive societies. Kate Kennedy? There, yeah, um, like there are ones where you, ha you, know, you have to be like invited to join. Or there are ones where you have to submit an application. Um, yeah. Like the... Uh, expat society. Expat society. Lum the Lum Lumsden, Lumsden Club and there's like secret, secret societies, societies. non-affiliated um, societies. Like unless it's one where you know you specifically have to either be invited or mm. you have to submit an application. Yeah, it's not really gonna be. 
Yeah, I think Clicky. the only area that you can run into issues in terms of cliqueiness is on some fashion show subcommittees and like if big event committees. It's very much like people who are involved in it will yeah. get the jobs. So you'd have to kind of yeah really want it and really get involved with it. To be fair, almost most of the committees and subcommittees here, it's easier to get on if you know someone who's already on the committee. It's not a question of like nepotism. If I can even say that, like, I know people who were on committee last year who reapplied and didn't get it. Mm. So, and that's happened before, like, yeah. the years before. So people, yeah, it committees is... try to give everyone a shot a shot because, you know, they could be bringing something to the table that you hadn't thought of before. Yeah. And, yeah, you could be but missing it's, out. It's kind of, yeah, it's just sometimes it, it does help to know people. Yeah. Because then you'll be more comfortable with them in, like, interviews and interacting and that always... Helps yeah. anyways. And that's just like helps. That's, that's the end of the societies it. one. In terms of societies and clubs, like make sure to go to Freshers Fair during Freshers Week and make sure to go to the sports fair during yeah. Freshers, Freshers Week. week. And the um, music fair. Music during fair. There are Freshers all these week. ways to find out all the different options you have. Um, also during Freshers Week, there are these things called give it a goes yeah. that all the sports teams have. You just show up. You don't have to pay. And some of the and societies do. Like Star does a give it a go. We have a give it a go. Um, um, but you can go and you can practice. You can meet the team and like the already official team. And, yeah. and, and you they'll know, be super then they'll hold happy tryouts. and friendly because yeah. they want you to join their society. Yes. So definitely... Do that. I think that's it for yeah. societies and clubs and sports. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're gonna do more of these. You said this. Um, I think next we're gonna do nightlife and cut. <laughs> what was that thing you used to do? Oh, that one. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh.